still to this day, man, yeah, I be the. Back and forth all the time. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, uh, my bars, like I like, especially if I think if it's a hot bar, I, or I might test it out. I say it to L. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I won't rap it. You know right. what I'm saying? I talk it to him. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? I be like, yo, da 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 da. You know I what I'm like saying? That, right. <laughs> and wait for his reaction, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because if it's good or dope, he gonna be like, Woo! Mm -hmm. If he don't even laugh, that's that. Right. Right. If he if he do that, I'm like, okay, that ain't gonna make it to <laughs> that, that ain't the one. That ain't the one, that's not gonna make it, you know. You might be my brother, tough critic, boy. Yeah, LA. Yeah. yeah he is critic. the he is the uh um, he is my, uh, yeah, he is the, one of the roughest hip-hop critics. <laughs> gotta have one of them in the Hey, man. You gotta have one of them in the stash. Hey, yo, man. Nice. You got to have a raw hip-hop critic in your stash, stash, man. Somebody who like, nah, yo. Yeah, yeah that rock. Nah, even if you disagree, man, that's too funny, man. Because, How? because main, the main thing with that is my name is associated with you. That's a fact. There is no I know you, so if you spit something dumb, they gonna be like, man, what's up with your man spending the dough? The wet me. L like that. I never want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, man. L is the. They gonna buy your L like that pass? L, L, <laughs> yeah, yeah. L like that pass? Did you run that by L? That buy by L first before you said that? That's not L approval. That's not. Yeah, that ain't L approval, man. I'm gonna keep it. That's a billion. Yo, that's a thousand percent right. When I say every step of the way, man. Oh. Every step of the way. In my room, I had um. See, I ain't have no turntable. Okay. However, we Africans, not Africans. You know what I'm saying? What I did have is two stereos. I pushed them close together. Right, <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Do what you do. Get to do what I do, man. A couple of tape decks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some records, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Trying to scratch. Exactly. You know what I mean? Messing up my little, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is where we at um, as far as um, trying to figure out what was on your mind when you was online. Dope, that's rap, you know what I'm saying? So, what we do is we ask some guests, you know, stuff that they was, you know, ranting about or celebrating or hating, however you want to look at it. You know, I just want to know, you know, what was on your mind when you was, when online. You was online. Yo, I like this. You know what I mean? What was on your mind when you was <laughs> online? <laughs> right. You feel me? So, um,. I got this one right here. Let's go. Um, Cause you post you post a lot of encouraging things on here, man. Thank you. I I I, I utilize my 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 tools for the good. <laughs> right, right. Um, so let me take you back right here. This one says, um, I think you even supported this one right here. Cause you do a lot of supporting too, and a lot of people. That's one thing I also want to shout out to you too, because you know I, I see other people that I'm, you know, friends. You know, you support a lot. I guess people got their motive to why they don't, but I do see that you do shout out other people mm -hmm. um, and show them love on your line, or what have you. Um, <clears throat> so this one right here, you got the um, what's this? Okay, you say, uh, your plans will never work if your spirit isn't right. Oof. It's all about self-improvement first. Facts. You know, and that was August 3rd. You know, what mindset you was in during that time? All right, so, your spirit, your, your, your plans will never work if your spirit isn't right. Mm -hmm. It's all about self-improvement mm -hmm. first. Right. So the mind state I was in at the time, and I, I and I continue to pray that I, you know, gr continue to grow with this, is um, always continue to work on self growth and development. Right. Right. We all have great plans. We all have visions. We all have things that we're interested in achieving and accomplishing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to discredit someone else or try to in order for your plans to work. Right. You don't have to diss anybody or or, 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 or ha whatever they may call it to try to make your, blow out their candles so you are shine bright. Right. Because if that is your approach, mm -hmm. your pl the plans that you have for yourself will never work. Mm -hmm. Right? So instead of um, concentrating on what someone else is doing, 
It's better to work on your internal self, your internal things that you got to work on within you. See, see, so, all right, so check it out. Who is that person that, that you are with nobody around? When it's just you and your thoughts. It's questions that you have by yourself. Yeah. It's things that you want to answer for yourself. It's things that you, goals and different things and, and hang-ups and you, you beat yourself up enough. It's, those are the things that you, it's in, your internals. All right? so it's already enough stuff going on the outside. So it's all about um, self growth and development first. That's why I said before you could go to judge somebody else and picking up what somebody else do, start to look at yourself and find out where you can self improve. Yeah, yeah, man. That's definitely inviting, man. Good, good advice right there, man. Kind of parallels to you know the walks of life that you gotta you know stay focused and shoot. Mm -hmm. Not saying anybody gonna you ain't gonna you know stumble yeah. or fall. Just however, when you get them shaky times, um, get into that self growth. Real community work. Salute to Alvin Mitchell. Some people do it for show, Boom. while others do it for, for show. show. Right. Yes, shout out my man Alvin Mitchell, man. Doing some community Fra work there, huh? That's yeah, man. Stuff. He um, this is what's dope about him. All right, um, he from the hood, all of that. I, I knew him from uh, uh for a long time. I'm talking about from from the block. He said right. what I'm saying early in life, man. And he always went higher than anything he does, d did or does. Mm -hmm. So something that he does now. Let's fast forward to these days. Mm -hmm. At the basketball court at Cobbs Hill, mm. he basically took ownership of that court to a degree. Now, obviously, it's a public court. Everybody can come hoop and all kind of things, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not saying like he deboed anybody. However, the community, the way he brought the community there, him and his wife, they feed the children out there or the youth that's out there every week no out doubt. of pocket. You see what I'm saying? Like, they, they reach in their pocket, they barbecue, they hot dogs, hammers, whatever it is, waters. They feed the people up there because it's all kind of children and people at the park. And you already aware how it is. Yeah. Everybody ain't got it to right. go buy anything. That's you right. at the park. You right. see what I'm saying? People got their children up there while they playing basketball and doing different things. Mm -hmm. He makes sure the whole park fair, him and his wife. That's X, huh? That's X. And he does not... He looks just like DMX, too. Yes, sir. Um, and he don't... He don't brag about it. He don't say, hey, look at me. You see what I'm saying? He been doing that for years. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to X. I got him on Gems in the Rock. Um, some stuff last year, too. So he was definitely up there putting some community stuff. In. Yeah. Good dude, man. Yeah, he man. Do it for show. Sure. He don't do it for show. He don't do it for... See, some people will get out to the world and, and, and they'll do something, quote, unquote, nice and want to get accolades to make themselves look bigger. Yeah. It's outside of the purpose. That's right? right. So the real purpose is how you affect the person or people that you're you're serving. You right. know what I mean? And let them bring you accolades. However, you know, right. people do what they do. So shout out to him. He does it for show, not for show. Right. My pops and his brothers, my godfathers Ooh. and uncles. This group of traveling men taught me how to organize with black men as a group to do family and community work. As a child, my brother and I were the only children that were consistently around these group of men during their meetings. I asked my dad why the other day, and he said he just wanted us to get to know the fellas. Little did we know we were sitting at the feet of elders who were the keepers of ancient knowledge, and they were ever so slowly feeding it to us bit by bit, piece by piece, until we filled up enough to have heavy thirst for knowledge ourselves. Mm. All, though some of these men are no longer with us, their legacy lives on. The conversations that I can have with them now are different, and I just want to let them know that they did their job. Some people read about it, and me, I, I was blessed enough to be raised in it. Legacy carrier. Ooh. Fire 100%. And you got this picture with historical, legendary men. What, what was, what was your, on your mind when you was posting this right here? Mm, paying homage. Uh, standing on their shoulders, 
um, being aware of a lot of the things that was instilled in me to bring me to where I am at this point. And I'm not talking about financially a million dollars. I'm talking about knowledge. I'm talking about um, the way to respect and treat people, the way to organize, as I was saying there, uh, with community, to do community work. Mm -hmm. uh, those men in that picture, first of all, at this point, there are only two men still alive in that picture, and there's probably like 15 men, at least in that picture. Mm -hmm. um, it's my dad and his best friend still alive. Wow. When I was young, as I was saying, we would, they would have meetings, these men, my dad would take us with him. <laughs> you know what I mean, that's why I was like, dang, man, because we was the only other children in the building. Right. So the, the dope thing about it is me and my brother explored the building. We were in rooms. We are touching different things. And I saw all kinds of symbolisms, mm -hmm. cultural symbolisms that I didn't understand at the time that later on in life as I um, started studying and learning more knowledge. Right. It started getting into my culture and purpose of life. It started coming into my own. I look back and I'm like, oh, man. Makes sense now. It all adds it up. It all so. adds up. I thought they were just meeting. I thought they were just hanging out because it looked like they was having a good time. Right. They was actually organizing. Right. And putting things together. Yeah, yeah. And um, with, with the things that I've learned in my adulthood and a lot of the studies and the, um, the practices that I uh, partake in, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I like to have those conversations with those men. Right. You know what I mean? Just to be like, yo, man, I'm, hey. You're doing some good justice by hey, putting, man. <laughs> putting yeah. it forth for what they done trickled down to you or how you for real, for real. Man. Right. Yeah, man. So man. I was blessed to be that's why I say um, some people read about it, and I was blessed enough to be raised in it, meaning like surrounded by these uh, men who are uh, doing these strong works. Yeah, that's good, man. I don't think enough um, men do that today, or if they do bring them into environments, it's usually not a likely. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the right. Yeah, you know, so a healthy environment. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's, man. that's a plus that you took time to absorb some of that energy right there man um you had showcases um in rap mm -hmm. do you want to explain more in depth about um the process if somebody wanted to come in you know perform there and when do y'all have y'all nights or is it something that's annually or you want to get more in depth with that Okay, so, uh, again, Rabbit, shout out to Rabbit Entertainment, Manny Green, shout out Sync, Hometown Hero, Stay Loyal Entertainment. Um, we do a thing called Hometown Heroes, mm. which is showcases independent artists in Rochester. Mm. And we do it once a month, and you can log on to Rabbit Entertainment or call the uh, studio or look a link on with uh, stay stay loyal in the entertainment mm -hmm. online and uh, sign up to to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. It is a phenomenal event every month. Um, we we didn't do it this month because uh, loyal is, I mean uh, stay loyal entertainment is just took I think what eight mm -hmm. artists on a tour. Oh, okay. This is the second time we did. That's another thing, right? So we don't just Form there, like we go to other take artists to other cities as well. Oh, so he wow, just did that dope. twice, you know. What I mean, and they, and they might be somewhere in Pennsylvania or Ohio right now, I'm not sure. However, he's literally on the road right now with eight artists that perform over at uh, um, so what rapid, so what rapid gets exposure and different dynamics. Of yes, you get exposure. We, yeah. we, if you want a clip of your performance, everything's taped, we can get you a clip of your performance as well. And it's like a development center, right? So all artists aren't. You don't have to come there to be the best artist. You come there to hone your craft and get it better so you can take it out to the world. Right. We don't. We cheer for everybody. Right. We don't do that around the parts, man. If you come there, you get supported. Period. Right. That's gangster, man. I appreciate your time, man. Any last parting words that you want to get to your audience? Oh, yeah. I'd like to get you to come back and do some more. Definitely, definitely, definitely. First you know of all, man, I got to uh, share with y'all, man. I, I love the babies, man. 
That's what's up. Man, I work with the youth. Yeah. All right, I, I got, we have a um, also have me and Manny run uh, from Rab Entertainment have a a music program that we um, teach the children how to write, record, perform, publishing, um, all the ins and outs of anything that they may want to do in, uh, in the music business, as well as. Um, they might not want to do, but you'll, they'll be able to learn all the things. And right now we uh, run it with In Control. That's We're nice. also um, with bringing it to where people are. So if anybody has a space and they want to uh, bring us there to teach the children, maybe a six to eight week course or, or, or longer or whatever it may be, we're willing to uh, come in and we work off community support. Um, what else? I just awesome. finished doing an event, coming from an event too, where kids was coming together from understand, right? Oh. Yes, matter of fact, um, In Control has um, a, a, a program. Shout out my man Shabaka. He shoot, shoots um, movies with children, okay. right? Every for, for six weeks, he takes these uh, youth and and they write their own script, they do their own filming, and they take pieces of the the movie industry and they all play their part, and then they show the movie at the little theater. That's what's right? up. I had the blessed, um, um, I was blessed to be able to be the executive on the music, so I took music part of it, the uh, movie, soundtrack, so I took artists that I work with and we adjusted our, the music to fit the movie and the soundtracks. And now when they played on the big screen, they were able to hear themselves on the big screen, part of a movie, and we'll make sure they got their publishing of stuff that is, is correct as well. So if you never be that's aware, it might right blow there. up. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope to get the support, man. Do you know the you remember the name of the film or the name of the film is called Rapper's Choice. Oh God. Rapper's Choice. It, it'll be online soon. By the probably by the time everybody um this gets out, Rapper's Choice is um dope movie too. That's dope awesome. movie. I also want to uh, share with the people. Also have a non for profit called Frequency Music Group. Mm -hmm. It's international. We are not 501c3. We have a different type of uh, nonprofit, so we're not limited to what we can speak about or promote. As far as um, we only promote positive and uplifting things, anyway. That's Shout out my man Tiki Magic Lion out there in uh, Africa. Shout out my man uh, um, out there in Brazil who rock rock with us. My man Zebulon Fire. Uh, shout out. Um, Omatic Noons um, out there in um, Carolina. I got people in Florida, Houston. Um, so we're an international and national organization, and we're just about promoting each other's music and, and, and getting it out there, not just music, product as well. That's what I'm saying. Appreciate your time, man. Make sure you continue on doing what you do, man. That's right, that's right, right. It's yeah, Stig so Stiglow, aka Stiglow Swag Mode Flat. You just been blacktivated. Holla at your boy. You watching this on TV.